Good morning, I'm Steve and welcome to Green Side Up. Okay, I'm getting some of my um, tomato plants in this morning. Um, you can see the size of them, they've just taken off in the greenhouse at home and there seems to be no stopping them so I've um, I fetched them down here and what I was going to do was just leave them all in a tray and leave them in this protection thing with a lid on until I was ready to plant out later because normally I don't plant out until May. Um, but all things considered I think they're still going to be in here, I may as well plant them and crack on with it. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen in this day and age anyway. We could all be on permanent lockdown soon. We don't know. So I'll get them planted and with these as they're so tall, they really do need deep planting. I mean, I'm, I'm an advocate for that anyway. but. You'll have all seen tomato plants later in the season. You can see all these hairs on here. These all turn and grow into roots, all these hairs. So, you know, the more plant you've got in the ground, the better it will be. So I'll just pick off these lower leaves and then she goes. I'll probably be back to these in a week to stake them I would say. Simply ridiculous size. It's odd really because they didn't start off leggy, they just went that way. So I'm going to get 10 in, in this bed and 10 in the next bed. The variety is Crimson Crush and God do these things crop. Amazing. These will need a good watering. And there we go. First tomatoes in the ground for me. They will need staking just until they get up out of this height and then I'll take them out and put a proper framework up. Give them a damn good soak and I'm wanting that water all the way down underneath them. So there we go, that's that one uh, planted up. There's 10 Crimson Crush plants in there. They've had a damn good water so I can put the lid on and leave them for three or four days now before I need to even look in there again and they'll just grow away steadily to the top of the top of this support and hopefully then I can just move the support outside and let them carry on growing and put some proper supports up for them then some canes and things right now that the tomatoes are all in buttoned up and lidded um, I've got some tajits to put in tajits are just a, a marigold but they're a very small flowered one and the thing is with with that is they help to help with the pest white fly which you'll get on your tomatoes. So I'm just gonna pop a few of these in around them. And of course the bonus is in season they look bloody fantastic around the bottom of your tomatoes. So 
that's why I flat pack. When this big cover comes off and I put the cane support in, hopefully it should have ready by then a basil, and that will fill all the space around the tomatoes. So I'll have a nice band of yellow most of the way around these tomatoes, the green underneath the tomatoes, and the tomatoes growing up the with the stems gradually being stripped bare of the leaves, nice red tomatoes. Should look lovely and be productive as well, which is the most important thing. Right, if ever there was a candidate for an extra shoot, it's this one. Um, this is a sweet pea, and about a week ago, you can just see there, I took out the tip, the growing tip of the plant. Since then, we've had these extra shoots coming out. So these two are here, are extra, and in there, next to the stem there, on the other leaves, there are more extra shoots coming out. Now this is what you do with sweet peas. So I'll probably get four or five, maybe six extra stems there, all to grow up and all will produce flowers. They're not exhibition size flowers, because if you were growing for exhibition, you wouldn't nip the top out, I don't think. I'm sure they just do a single cordon up for that, but I'm not after show blooms, I'm just after blooms and for the smell in the house from a vase of beautiful sweet peas. So there we go. Extra shoots for the extra shoots. Uh, this is just a quick extra snippet. These are the seeds that I sowed, what, about a week and a half ago? And you can see already that there's quite a few coming up. I'd say five or six rows are now coming through. That's just a week and a half, just sown in the soil, in the polytunnel, and just left to get on with it. Just keep them moist, and they'll come for you. Well, that's it for today. Uh, hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe if you can. Um, subscribing tells me that that video was a positive video in that people enjoyed it. Uh, it lets me know to do more content of the same. So if you're watching and if you're not already a subscriber here, then please do subscribe. And, and that's it for today. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Have fun and stay safe. <laughs>